Why are there birds in here? They're not even worried about what's going on. Who just talked to me? KPD, I need to talk to you. Get away from me, man! I got a piece on me, and I ain't afraid to use it! No, you don't. Now calm down. I'm just looking for some answers. Oh, I know how you get your answers. I got nothing to tell you! Fair enough. KPD, I need to ask you some questions. Do you know what's going on? My hollow projection got cut off. I, I can't get a signal. The building is under lockdown. No external connection. Not much we can do. Shit. Sounds serious. So, uh, you wanted to ask me something? Do you know who lives in apartment 7? 7? I didn't even know anyone lived there. Uh, hey, you wouldn't happen to know when they're gonna fix the connection. Not that it's like super important to me or anything, I just need to know. You just take it easy. I'm sure someone is already working on it. Oh good, it's just that it feels weird to just sit here, alone, with my thoughts. You know, can you talk to me some more? It makes it kind of easier. You've been living here long? Oh, well, I, uh, uh, it must have been at least seven or eight years. Ever had a lockdown before? Um, I don't think so. I don't remember my projector going off. Ever. Well, what do you want to talk about? Um, uh, yeah, you know, uh, Gorski the Giant was fighting Killer Cromer today. You an AMA fan? Uh, not really. Sounds like you are. Of course, I don't know who won since my projector went out. <sighs> Why are my hands shaking? I don't think we're gonna get much. Sorry, I don't have time for this. Oh, okay. Uh, I understand. It's no problem. I'll just sit here, alone. God, I'm really starting to sweat like a pig. <laughs> Hang in there. Yeah, I think I said it in the intro. I guess everybody but the rich people, for the most part, just seem to live in squalor. Because it doesn't particularly matter where they are, if they're all just in virtual reality or whatever. Just people trying to escape the shitty life. What is it? What's up with the lockdown? Is it the phage? Was there an outbreak? Too early to tell. I'm looking into it right now. Looking into it? Are you out of your mind? We might all be infected! You don't know that. Best thing we can do is stay calm and... And let them come and slaughter us? I won't let them take me. I won't! Guess everyone's worried about the neurophage happening again. Oh, oh my god. Jesus Christ. This is disgusting. Oh. I just gotta look around. Now this was, yeah, this was the bathroom that I couldn't go get into before. 
This one's looking a little bit better, but still like absolute shit. Is that fucking blood? Ugh. I don't know, it's like right above the urinal, maybe... Oh, I don't want to think about it. Wait. Wait, what was that? I want to look at it again. Where did it go? Well, looking at the controls, it doesn't look like there's any, like, inventory or anything like that, so... I... Uh, don't know, guess it's gone. I guess it couldn't have been too important. What's already over here? Oh, and apparently F is not actually flashlight, but night vision, rather. So I guess it'll be more useful in maybe complete darkness. Sir, KPD. Oh God, they're here! The cleaners are here! <laughs> well, I guess this is my way out. KPD, I need to talk to you. You broke it. No, you broke it. No. -uh. <laughs> Will you get these kids to shut up? I'm fucking talking here. Yeah, what's this about? Do you know the tenant in apartment seven? Dad, Tommy's picking on me. Shut up, snitch. I thought I told you to shut up. Seven, huh? Nah, can't say that I know the guy. Okay, so it's a guy. Yeah, well seen him once or twice. I might have a vague recollection. Could you give me a vague description? Maybe. What's it to you? My son might have been staying in that apartment. I'm trying to find him. Well, why don't you tell me what he looks like? I'll let you know if it rings a bell. We lost touch. It's been a while. Huh. Sign of the times, I guess. See, I'm a family man myself. You shut up! No, you shut up! No, you! I swear it, if you don't shut up this instant... Uh, yeah, I can tell. So, can you describe him, or what? Young, probably in his 20s. Medium height, medium built. He wasn't very... memorable. Have you seen anything suspicious around the building? Any strangers skulking around? Nah, I don't pay much attention to the other tenants. Bunch of losers. A lot of... You are so dumb. Not as dumb as you are. Nuh-uh, you're way dumber. Shut the fuck up! Not upstanding citizens like you. You bet your ass. Good thing we'll be getting out of this dump soon. Is that right? Yep, I've been working my way up. I even filed for a status upgrade. Once that goes through, we'll be moving to a B-class district in no time. Yeah, good luck with that. That person's an asshole, but also... My character's an asshole. I mean, no surprise, I guess. They're an observer. What are all these, like, little bulbs I keep seeing around? Are they just bulbs? They flash. Nanophage and I. This one looks special. Hmm. 
Is that like a digital welcome mat? Hmm. Hope this one hacks the whole thing. thing that just scurried off. What the? Hey. Hey there, little bird. Is it just mirrors? That bird look really, really sick. It's all like lumpy and looks like horribly mutated. I wish you could take it with me. Kind toys. Attention, parent or child can't touch a hologram. The latest series of educational kinetic toys will help improve their imagination and central nervous system. I love how when you move the camera, everything's like... Uh, it's almost like there's sort of like compression or like distortion artifacts. Like your sight's imperfect. Kind of glitchy. Come to the door, please. Just want to talk. Who are you? Did Chiron send you? I'm with the KPD, if that's what you're asking. Seriously? We haven't had a cop around these parts in... ever, I guess. Well, you've got one now. Yeah, good luck. You're gonna fucking need it. Case log updated. Is that saying I'm done with the neighbors? Yep, just identify the caller and... I guess... I guess that's it. Identify the caller. What was their initials again? HN. Door unlocked. That's strange. Uh, one hmm. sec. Janet to let the door open. That's also unlocked. Hold on. Let's go back to the other one then. someone talking. They said, is mom going to be all right? What does that say? Remove your plant? Or something plant? Fire and sword spiders. Don't believe they're lies. The plague is still out there. Like conspiracy theories, I guess? Fellow undesirables, if you're up to date with Chiron propaganda, you probably heard our so-called Minister of Health spout out another gem of corporate wisdom. For those of you who didn't, let me catch you up to speed. Right? To all those who have given in to insurgent fear-mongering, I say again, there's absolutely no need for concern. The nanophage is no longer a threat. We have contained the glitch and thus freed ourselves from the disease. Loyal citizens who support responsible augmentation have nothing to be afraid of. Three words. Bull fucking shit. Let me tell you how things really are. Unless you're one of the lucky class A fucks with a shiny set of mods, in which case you're probably not reading this, the nanophage is still very real. I've had at least three confirmed cases in the past year, one of which led to a small-scale outbreak. Luckily, we managed to contain it before it spread beyond control. Now, you might think three cases ain't nothing to get excited about. If so, I can tell you've never been in an outbreak. For most of us cooped up in Class C districts, even a single instance is one too many. Okay, so what the hell are you supposed to do? First and foremost, it's better to prevent than cure. Given the phage recovery rate, these words should be considered gospel. Once the plague hits, it's usually too late. So, if you want to stay safe, 
Look for these symptoms. Fever. Pay attention to even the slightest bumps in body temperature. The phage starts off slow, barely more noticeable than the flu. So if you're feeling a bit under the weather, get your ass to a local clinic and run a scan. Better safe than sorry. Implant irregularities. This is where it gets tricky. Assuming that, like most of us, you can't afford to run regular mod maintenance, you've probably gotten used to the old, the odd jolt of your neural implant, or a slight spasm in your artificial arm. However, if these start to occur at an increased rate, you need to check yourself. Erratic behavior. Every once in a while, try to look away from the projector and take a gander at your neighbors. If any of them are acting weirder than usual, babbling to themselves, walking crooked, there might be something afoot. Assuming they're not drunk or high. A bit of civic awareness won't kill you. A lack of it might. Juncture inflammation. Okay, so the skin at the base of your implant turns red and starts to itch. The bad news is, you might be infected. The good news is, it's not a death sentence. Our clinics have performed numerous extraction surgeries, and unlike the corporate cleaners, most of our patients tend to leave the operating room alive. As long as there are no nanite punctures, it's still not too late. If there are, you're most likely too busy hallucinating and puking blood to notice. If you spot any of these symptoms in yourself or anyone in your neighborhood, contact one of our clinics. If you don't know how to find us, ask around. We got eyes and ears all over C districts, so chances are we'll find you. Now, here's what you definitely don't want to do. Don't panic. Chances are it's still not the phage. We've had dozens of false reports on alleged outbreaks that turned out to be a nasty case of pigeon flu or an odd implant gone haywire. Number two, don't be an idiot. In the last couple of months, we've had dozens of incidents of violence aimed at suspected carriers. Guess what? It doesn't solve anything. Once the disease takes root, we're all in this together. Number three, do not report it. I can't stress this enough. The cleaners are not your friends. They're not coming to help you. Best case scenario, they'll lock down the entire building and go through it with a fine tooth comb, using the outbreak as an excuse to confiscate subversive materials and detain any undesirables. Worst case scenario, the ones they don't slaughter outright will end up as guinea pigs for Chiron R&D. If it comes to that, do yourself a favor and pack it in. Jump out a window, blow your brains out, doesn't matter how, just make it last. You won't thank me later, but you'll regret it otherwise. Well, that just gave us a lot of information. Holy crap. What a shitty world. Undeliverable mail notification. The following message could not be delivered to one or more recipients. Content blocked by Chironet Firewall. Of course they have a firewall. My dear Annie, by the time you read this, I will no longer be among the living. The details are not important. Just know that I went out on my own terms. I won't ask for a proper burial. God knows you don't owe me anything. By the time the cleaners are done with the place, I doubt there will be anything left of me to bury. Just know that for all my faults, I've always loved you, just like I loved your mother. When the disease took her, a part of me died that day. Simple displays of affection became a foreign concept, a painful reminder of what I had lost. It does not justify what I've put you through, but it is the truth. I'm so happy you've managed to get out of this hellhole and find someone worthy of your love. I wish you both all the best. Is, is be all right? <laughs> Wait, can I run this game? <laughs> oh my god, I can? Those bloody spiders again. Let's see. Oh, I'm over here. Cool! <laughs> I wonder how long you can play this game for. You made it! Play again. Nah, I'm, I'm good. I guess you can probably get all the way to level 10, but no thanks. Oh, here's another one. Senior cremation technician. Notes ready for disposal. So, what is this exactly? Hmm. 
I don't know. Maybe like little Easter eggs or something. Another one of those little orbs. Could they be cameras? It's an awful lot of cameras, if so. Are they trying to break through? That's the person that was at the desk and like the cleaning bot. I imagine they're trying to break through. I can't imagine they'd be welding the place shut. Warning. Desynchronization imminent. Ooh. Administer medication. Yes. Synchronization <clears throat> injected. Strain level decreased. Okay, so I guess I need the synchronization just every once in a while. I just need to take it? Doesn't seem it didn't seem to have changed this bar, which isn't quite at its max. Ah, it's a good opportunity for me to gather some info. Synchrosine collected. Got a lot of sound equipment here. Wonder what for. Got like a full mixing boards and multiple microphones. Jankowski Yanis? Oh. The wall stands tall. Oh, I think this is, uh, fiction. No, no, a shot rings out in the dark. Michael, the young soldier next to me, immediately turns towards the wall. Eh, maybe not. I don't think it is fiction. Guarding the wall can be a daunting task, Michael confesses the following morning, but it's also a privilege. I don't really feel like reading that. But let's just kind of see what this is about, though. Let's not forget that Chiron takes care of her brave men and women on and off the field of battle. Our ongoing veteran rehabilitation initiative ensures that soldiers who are no longer able to serve can reintegrate into society. Well, whatever the wall is, I'm sure it can't be a good thing. Walls are generally not a good thing. Or at least they're not indicative of a good thing. Request denial. Dear Mr. Jerkowski. Well, we all greatly appreciate your exemplary service and the sacrifices you've made for your country. The VRI, that'd be the Veteran Rehabilitation Initiative, right? Policy enforces a strictly proactive stance on helping our brave veterans reintegrate. Regular coverage requires a deed of permanent B-class employment. <laughs> of course. So no, they don't really help their veterans. Just, you know, maybe a few of them. Your current janitorial position simply does not qualify. So, denied. Enough is enough. Alright, this has gone long enough. Veteran or not, I don't give a crap anymore. One more message and I'll find you and beat the fucking junk out of you. My mother can no longer take this shit. She's sick of telling you over and over that her husband, my father, died 18 years ago. She's moved on, we all have. No one wants to live in the past, constantly relive a tragedy. So for the last time, Mike Jaworski is dead. He's been dead for a long time. Have someone type that into that busted-ass head of yours. Don't care how you do it, just fucking remember this time. Even if it's just a toss-up between this and remembering when to take a dump. Because the next message you send here, send her, will earn you a broken fucking jaw. Ooh. Ah! Okay, we should be able... By the way, how could there's... Of course. Whoop. Two agents, Helena Novak, apartment 104, and Hannah Nader, apartment 106, both on the same floor. Yeah, I was just going to say we can find them through this. But also, how come there's always this little dot in the center of the screen? Is that just like a, the tiniest, the world's tiniest crosshair? Look at that little dot. So weird. It's like a dead pixel on my screen, but it's not. It's there. 
Okay, 104, 106. <laughs> they have the game too. Everybody has it. It's all the rage. I've already seen that. Turn their fan on. Haha, <laughs> waste power. Oh, Check fucking hell! You again? Not a good idea to sneak up on Jesus you. Christ, that scared the shit out of me. To get out. I really did not expect someone to be there. <sighs> yeah. I must have taken a wrong turn. These hallways all look the same. That's a terrible lie. Hallway. Public. Office. Authorized personnel only. Police business. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know what you are. Oh, yeah? Back. During war. Took one alive. Sent for one. Of you. To get into his head. You fought in the big one. Is that why you got all this junk in you? Plasma sweep. Hit our convoy. <clears throat> Borrowed through armor. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring back memories. Yes. Memories. Something triggered the lockdown. Trying to get it open. Rudy and I. You think it might be the nanophage? You had any recent outbreaks? No. Last one. Long time ago. Down by the river. All the implants. Bad the implants. I take it, Rudy is the robot. Multifunction service and maintenance drone. Don't lose it. What? Mm. Wonders of sometimes. I need to track manually. Can we lift the lockdown from the inside somehow? Or get a message out? No. Keep people in. Isolate, accommodate, alleviate. Yeah, we all know how that last one used to work. What can you tell me about the tenant in apartment 7? Uh, uh, tenant? Yeah, tenant. How long has he been living there? Yeah, maybe longer. Not good with time. You ever talked to him? Didn't get out much. None of them do. All right, Tin Man. Let me know if it comes back to you. All right. I'm heading out. Can you give me full access to the building? Uh, uh -huh. uh, assistance. Unstable. Unlocked. What I could. Thanks. You better stay here. There might be some very nasty people out there. Nasty. Uh, huh. Bad. Look, just stay safe. You know what? I never got your name. I'm Dan. Huh? Name? Janus. Like a... Roman God. <laughs> you know. Sorry I gave you a hard time earlier. Good to meet you. Janus. I thought it'd be pronounced Yanis. I thought it was Yanis. They said... Like, Janus. Or... Ja I forgot what they said, but then my character pronounced it a slightly different way. Janus. They really are just so, like, uncomfortable and, 
like barely even there anymore. Sad. Alright, so a bunch of stuff is unlocked. We know we need to go to apartment 104 and 106. Let's go see Rudy. It just looks like they're touching it with their finger. Just like poking at it. Alright. 104, 106. Oh. Look at all these birds. So many. Do they all look weird? Like that one? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Alright. Let's get a map or something. A 1, 6, 13... Ah, here we go. Yes, all the apartments down here start with zero, so we need to go to the top floor. Which it looks like we can now get to up here. I think this is the way I went last time to get to apartment 7. Oh, that's unlocked too. Hmm. See what's in the basement first. A rose. A real deal. Why leave it here? A message? Critically endangered species proceed with extreme caution. This is getting a little... a little horror. That sounds like a monster. That's the Chiron logo. Look at that tiny little window. So where are we now? in the stairwell. Does that mean I couldn't have taken the stairwell up? Oh, that just loops around to here. Huh. Ooh. Oh. Look at those light shafts. go. On the right floor now. What the? That can't be Rudy. Rudy was downstairs, right? The heck? They can't get up. <laughs> oh no, they've turtled. Poor thing. Arcadia. Once you're in, you'll never get out. I can go up even more. I feel like this entire game might be just set in this one place. It's becoming larger and larger. I mean, it probably isn't, but... Like, I was expecting to be out of here pretty fast. Not so. Feels oddly meaningful. One ten. 
Dan Lazarski, KPD. Routine questioning. Daddy, who is it? Can he make the door open? When can we go out, Daddy? Shh. Go to your room, kids. Go play Runaway Galaxy. Let me talk to the man. Hello, officer. I'm Thaddeus Karski, head of the family. How can I help you? Listen, have you seen anything questionable going on around here? Apart from the usual, you mean? The usual? Well, you know, this place isn't exactly a beacon of morality. Still, we mustn't judge. Most people mean well, they're just misguided. This person sounds insufferable. Everything all right in there? Did the lockdown spook the kids? Oh, no, we're fine. I do appreciate your concern, though. You sound very calm. You're not worried about a potential outbreak? Oh, that doesn't concern us, officer. Of course, I hope that's not the case, for the sake of the other tenants. What do you mean, it doesn't concern you? We're all clean of corruption. My wife, myself, and the little ones. Clean? Oh. You're immaculates. Children of the immaculate birth, yes. You've heard of us. All good things, I hope. I thought they sounded like a creepy religious person. No. Depends on who you're talking to. The consensus seems to be crazy, but harmless. I see. And what is your own impression so far? Well, you're probably the least crazy person I've met today. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear that. I think. Well, I'd have to say, no mods of any kind. That's quite a statement these days. Is it really? Is having a neural connection to the web worth renouncing your humanity? Is a body held together with screws and wires really worth a corrupted soul? Some would say there are benefits. Certainly. I know our lives will be shorter and less comfortable. But it's a price we're willing to pay for experiencing the purity of our God-given bodies. Don't get me wrong. I'm not a big fan of implants. But I couldn't do what I do without them. Yes, you carry them within you. It wasn't really a choice, you know? Oh, but clearly it was. The world would be a better place if more people realized that. You're not gonna get preachy on me, are you now? I apologize, officer. That certainly wasn't my intent. How do you make a living, anyway? Not many jobs left that don't require some basic augmentation. We're a close-knit community, officer. We help each other out. As one should. All right, if you say so, Mr. Karski. Godspeed, Officer Lazarski. <laughs> Sounded so suspicious when I mentioned how do they make a living? Help each other out. Maybe some of them are rich, I guess. Jesus Christ. Whoa. What the hell was that? How does anything work in this place? I mean, people live here. Stuff must sort of work somehow, but like, Jesus Christ. someone was going to try to murder me. Thanks, Rudy.
Uh... I don't know where I've been and where I haven't at this point. This place is like a maze. So we're looking for which apartments again? 106 and 104. We are here. 106 is directly uh, behind us? I think. If I'm reading that right. One oh seven, okay, yep. One oh six. Miss Nader, I'm with the KPD. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Mrs. Excuse me? Mrs. Nader. All right, uh, Mrs. Nader. What do you want? Have you made any calls in the last hour? No, I have not. Could you check your compass for connections? Somebody may have used it as a proxy. I don't have a compass. Oh, that's why it's called a compass. I thought it was weird the way... Um, what's my first name? Daniel? I thought it was weird the way they pronounce it like compass. I was like, you mean compass? But no, not compass. It's literally like com pass, like communication pass, I guess. I guess a pass is like... I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, that makes more sense. When it's in all caps like this, it just looks like compass. Ma'am, is everything all right in there? Are you in some kind of danger? You tell me, officer. I heard the alarms go off. Are the cleaners on their way? Are any of us safe? The lockdown seems to be a malfunction. I don't think we're looking at an outbreak here. Well, I'm sure the other tenants will be glad to hear that. But not you? Immaculate? No, officer. Not me. Or just doesn't care. <laughs> no compass. I thought pretty much everyone had one at this point. Oh, you thought wrong. I don't have any implants of any kind. If you don't mind my asking, do you live alone? Yes, I do mind, and yes, I live alone. No spouse or daughter? Didn't you hear me? I said it was just me. Then why did you insist on being called Mrs.? I'm a widow. My wife died many years ago. In the plague. Sorry to hear that. Is that why you don't have any implants? Yes. Want to see the scar tissue on my face and neck? It's quite an embroidery. The little monsters really outdid themselves. Or do I have to show you what's left of my arm? Would that satisfy your curiosity? Mrs. Nader, I'm just doing my job. Oh, yes, I've heard that one before. When the cleaners took my Laura away, one of them turned to me and said precisely that. I never saw her again. Not even the body. It's like she never existed. I'm not like that. No? Oh, so you don't work for the corporation? The very same people who took everything I ever had? Just because they pay me doesn't mean they owe me. Well, isn't that a pretty thought? You best get on with your duties, officer. I'm sure you have your hands full. So long, Mrs. Nader. Helena, no packages. Yeah, um, I'm not like them. I don't know. Maybe Daniel isn't, but he's definitely not a good guy. On the other hand, this bird is a very good bird. Look at it go. And a care in the world. So focused and determined.
Anyway, um, what was that, 106? So 104 is the next one, which is probably right around the corner. Maybe. Oh. This place really is sprawling. Here we go. Or... Oh, I guess that's the hallway access. Hey! Yo! I can hear you out there! Help me, please! Where are you? What's wrong, sir? Oh, I heard this awful noise. What's going on? There's been a lockdown. A lockdown? No. Oh, God, please, not today. Are you okay? Sounds like you're in pain. Oh, it's fine. I'm just... I got a, a condition. I'm, I'm waiting to have it fixed. Anything I can do? <laughs> sure, if you're an expert in corrective surgery. Well, what's so special about today? I was scheduled to undergo a, a medical procedure. It's a private matter. I'd, I'd, I'd rather not talk about it. So just help. Sir, I'm wondering if you've seen anything suspicious lately. I haven't seen anything in over 40 years. Ah, that's your condition. I... I, I really don't feel comfortable talking about it. Fine, I won't waste your time then. Hey, wait, I did hear something. Quiet footsteps, deliberate, heavy breathing, angry, not hiding, hunting. Hmm, anything else? The smell, it seemed uh, oddly familiar, reminded me of my childhood. Your childhood? Yes, my family lived outside the city with all manner of creatures. When it would rain, the smell would be similar. Hmm. So some giant beast that smelled like wet animal. Probably the thing we heard at the beginning coming in. 104. Oh. Oh. I guess it came for anybody that uh, was connected. Anyone here? I don't think they're in much state to be talking. Dispatch, this is Lazowski 656210. I got an emergency here. God damn it. Still no connection. Listen to me. The building's on lockdown. There's no way I can help you now. But I can get whoever's responsible for this if you help me find him. Don't try to talk. There's another way. Subject approved. Commencing neural interrogation. <laughs> Whoa. 
Well, I guess we're using our observer abilities now. Well, I think this is a decent place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to go deeper into their memories and see if we can find, not really who, but what did this. <laughs>